Growing up, Yu-Gi-Oh! has been a part of my life as I've always been intrigued with the show and the card game itself. As it eventually became a hobby to me, I became connected to the community that was formed around it. And honestly, I would have never guessed that a deck of cards could open up a new world for me. Playing and learning the game over time has been quite the experience. Making good friends, going to events, eating out at restaurants, and so on. It has gotten me through some tough times when schoolwork became too much for me to handle, and I wanted something to take the stress off my mind. Fortunately, there is a place that I frequent which provides that escape known as a local card shop, where the Yu-Gi-Oh! community is brought together to hang out and compete in tournaments to determine who's at the top. There are a variety of them out there, but the one closest to me is the most convenient due to what's going on right now regarding COVID and rising gas prices. There's a lot of interactions within the community such as trading cards, opening packs, playing different formats, and so on. That there's a variety of fun to go around for everyone, as they try different things for entertainment, Everyone here enjoys themselves in their own ways, making the best out of what they can to enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh! It's one of the joys of a community in general as everyone joins in for a common interest so that they can share with others familiar to it. Welcoming everyone who wishes to partake in the game and allow them to understand it is something that's common for a community to grow. And so, I wish to share that with you all so that you can have a better understanding of it. With that, I'll be taking you to the card shop I frequent so that you can see what's going on. As we're on our way, I would like to take the time on how there are multiple similarities to how a community is formed through common interests. Though this is one of many, I hope this will give you a form of clarity that can help you understand people as they are given an opportunity to be more involved. This is Dream Wizards, a hobby shop in Rockville, Maryland that hosts and carries a variety of games for players and customers to enjoy. The wide range of space they have is used to hold tournaments so that players can compete while promoting themselves. With such a convenient location, Many people are able to make it out here from various places. Today, we'll be going around to see what a Yu-Gi-Oh! tournament is like and how players interact with one another enjoying the game. Behind the scenes, we have the judge of the tournament, a person who answers the questions and rulings of the game in case players run into any contingencies or interactions if something were to go wrong. They also manage the player system so that everyone is able to sign up and be placed in the roster, allowing them to participate in the tournament. Recently, I've been starting to judge as well, helping out my locals and gaining experience so that I can aid others in case they need any help in the game. There is a lot going around when the tournament plays out since everyone is occupied with their matches. Players are focused trying to establish their strategies and win, striving their way up the ladder so that they can achieve victory, earning booster packs and other prizes as a sign of what they've done. Other than local tournaments, there are bigger events that the company Konami hosts to allow players to strive towards a bigger title. These are known as regional events, a high-level tournament allowing players the opportunity to obtain an invitation to a higher-level tournament known as Nationals. These events are hosted by card shops and are held in event halls to hold hundreds of people from around the area. Nonetheless, it inspires groups to travel outside their comfort zone and attend in hopes for a chance to become champion, determining how far they can go when playing the game. From local tournaments to bigger events, everyone has a preference on how and where to play. Over time, Yu-Gi-Oh! has adapted into a diverse game, retaining the competitive aspect for players who wish to be competitive, introducing new mechanics and different cards to adapt towards new formats and introducing new strategies to players. The game has impacted many people as they wanted to take part in something they liked growing up, involving themselves to experience more than what the show has introduced and learning how to interact with people with the same interests through the game. Adapting to the rules and learning card interactions, a newfound player can go the distance discovering what's in store for them. With a community that's there to welcome them, the spirit of competitiveness and an opportunity for newfound friends never ends, bringing everything together. With that, I hope you all enjoyed a glimpse of the Yu-Gi-Oh! community and what it can bring for everyone.